Fundamentally, scout pioneering is all about building structures using rope and poles. A thick, strong pole is often called a spar. Rope and spars are pioneering's two basic materials. Pure manila rope is by far the best all-around rope for pioneering. It's easy to handle, has good strength for its size, is able to withstand repeated cycles of wetting and drying, and stretches very little. Its cost is mid-range, and properly cared for, it can be used effectively for many years. The most common size manila rope used for lashing together most all Scout Pioneering projects is a quarter inch manila. Naturally, lengths of lashing ropes vary depending on the diameter of the spars required to build the structure. After cutting the rope to the lengths needed, whip the ends, preferably with either a sailmaker's or West Country whipping. Once the ropes are whipped, color code them according to size by dipping the ends in a bit of paint. Coil the lashing ropes of the same length together in neat bundles. You can keep the bundles intact by tying them up with a three foot length of cord. For convenience, you can keep the lashing ropes organized in a watertight box. Always make sure they're dry before storage. Spars are to be harvested only from approved locations and always in a conservation-minded fashion. The best spars for pioneering are straight with a minimum of taper. Spars used for pioneering projects should be skinned. If the bark moves when the project is under strain, lashings can slip. Skin spars last longer, and the projects look nicer. After removing the bark, for a period of time, keep the spars in an airy location so they can start to dry out. Spars can be any length, depending upon what's being built. In Scout Pioneering, the most common sizes are 6, 8, 10, and 12 feet. Depending upon what's being built, 14, 16 feet, and even longer are sometimes called for. For future use, spar should be stored and organized out of the weather. With the proper care, these special pioneering materials can be used again and again for many years. Mm -hmm.